Hey guys, good evening. I'm actually filming this like 6.30 p.m. And I slept just now, so... Yep, I'm awake now, but I'm like a little bit tired. So I'm sorry if I talk, I have like brain fart or something because I could just not talk, you know. So as you see by the title in the below bar, I'm going to be showing you guys my April favorite. Literally about five products in one movie that I'm going to talk about. So let's just go and get started, guys. I'm going to be this lip tint. This is a Dear Darling tint from Exit House. And this is the Fall Winter 2017 collection. And I got it like early of like, I think I bought it like end of March, but I fully use it in April. Like I use a whole entire thing like every single day. Number BR403. It's a cool tone brown and I actually really, really like it. It's really really beautiful and the, let's just talk about the packaging though. The container is beautiful and this is just what it looks like. Like it's really like a lip color that I would go for. So I really, really like it and uh, it does jobs and it's pretty convenient to carry around because it's so small. The only downside is that it blitz out which is like that's well known for Rented House uh, lip tint so I don't really go crazy all over it but it does splits out just so you guys know the cream blusher from In Into It this is in color BCL4 or Garnet and it gets about 5 gram and it's cost me about 16 bucks and they only sell this in Watson's it's just a very 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 simple super duper easy kind of product to use so it's one dot like this and then it just blends with your hand which is like amazing I feel like it's a very convenient thing and I really like this color particularly because it's like a, those dusty like a pinkish color and I think it just suits me and that's what I have right now on my cheeks and I really, really love it I think it's going to be this eyebrow thingy this is the eyebrow filler perfecting and shaping gel from Kitrice Cosmetics I believe they only have two colors one dark brown and one lighter version of this tint your eyebrow I just fill the little bit gap between my brows and at first when you apply it like as you first open to apply it it does this like very liquidy watery consistency so you just really have to you know like let it dry before it, like you go on with your day or else like you kind of smudge it uh, skincare so this is the Tarte Maracuja oil recently I've been using oil as my routine like incorporate this to my routine like my evening like post after shower evening routine so far i really, really like it that different oil have different concentrations so this one within just like one drop and you have you already have like a lot of products so this one a little goes along the way and it does like really moisturize your skin and it does give you this really nice dewy finish which i love it's going to be a body mist and my brother's girlfriend gave it to me and this is the pink star petals body mist this is what it looks like and it smells so good like this is like literally what I spray if any of my friends ever wondering but I only spray that much that's all but this smells really good and uh, since it's only body mist it doesn't last for a long time but that's what I prefer I really like how it doesn't last because you know I don't like when my body starts to depend on perfume because usually I don't even spray any body mist or perfume before uh, a Korean drama that I've been watching it's called A Poem A Day okay, it's kind of confusing but basically it's about a girl who is actually a physiotherapist and it's about her life uh, how she used to be like she doesn't really want to be a physiotherapist at first she wanted, she wanted to major in liberal arts because she loved poem that much because she, she have tons of books regarding poem and she just loved to read book, like poems every single day and every single day there's an event happening and every single event that happens uh, they will end it up with a poem on every single episode which is like kind of good and it's kind of healing okay, because it's a very light drama it's not like super fancy shit that plays with your mind and brain that you need to think when you watch you know so I really like it but the guy friend that she used to have fallen in love with uh, ended up actually intern at the same university that she actually works so that's when like the, the story actually became really funny but I really like the guy friend more than the actual doctor that she kind of likes now or ended up now spoilers alert sorry some sitcom that I've been watching it's called Dynasty you can find it on Netflix the girl who actually played Jade in Victorious so I like her character in there so I watched the trailer in Dynasty and I fell in love so a family who is who is freaking rich like they basically own tons of businesses like almost like every single thing that you could have think of they actually own it rich life 
their life. There's a lot of like things going on. That's a little bit more heavier in my uh, perspective. It's not that boring at all. It's pretty much hilarious because Fallon is queen. Like you'll get what I mean when you watch it, okay? So that is pretty much my able favorites. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and leave the comment box below. Tell me what is your favorites of the month. Okay guys, bye!